Hi, I'm Alex Cagnoni. I'm the director of authentication for WatchGuard. Today, I'm going to show in here a quick demo of OffPoint, the new solution from WatchGuard. OffPoint, it's an MFA solution. MFA stands for Mode Effect Authentication, which means authentication where you have uh, at least two factors to authenticate to a system, uh, which could be something you know, like a password, something you have, like a token over your phone, or something you are, like a biometric. We're going to show in here how OffPoint works. So the first thing I, I want to share with you is the OffPoint app. So OffPoint works using an app that's downloaded from the stores, uh, and you can activate your tokens directly into this app. So if you've seen here in my screen, uh, I have a few tokens already activated in my, in my app, and I have also third-party tokens. I can actually add my Google, Facebook tokens as well uh, to this app. And I have here WatchGuard Cloud. So what's OffPoint? OffPoint is a solution that runs over WatchGuard Cloud. Uh, WatchGuard Cloud is the platform. Uh, everything is managed through the cloud. You don't need to install products on-prem. Uh, once you buy a license, everything is ready, uh, ready to go. Okay. In terms of WatchGuard Cloud and OffPoint, uh, this is just a, a quick overview about its interface. It has a dashboard where it shows all the resources you're protecting, like cloud applications, uh, Windows logon machines. It could be um, a VPN uh, firewall. So shows also the active users, failed authentications, and you have here a place where you can configure OffPoint. So everything is really simple. Uh, you can add users synchronized with Active Directory and uh, specify which resources each user or group of users have access to. The first resource that I'm going to talk about is a firewall. So OffPoint can be used to authenticate to any firewall. Uh, let's show with our own firewall, of course. So. Let me open in here our mobile VPN. So usually when you connect to a VPN, you're going to type in the username and password. But what happens if your username and password was stolen? That's one of the uh, main ways that hackers get inside the networks. So I'm going to show in here what happens if someone tried to steal my password and try to log in. What happens is that before connecting to the, to the network, it's going to, the firewall we talked with OffPoint, to make sure that's me trying to access uh, the network. So it's going to send me a push message to my app uh, asking if I approve or deny. If that's me, I approve. It's not me, I deny, and the connection is broken. So I'm going to approve in here, and then it will continue the connection and close the, the VPN connection. So this is a good way to block attacks uh, trying to use uh, stolen credentials on VPNs. Okay. So let me close this one right now, and let me show another application. So let's say you want to access, you have like dozens of cloud applications that you want to access, uh, and you have to remember the password for each one of those. So it's Salesforce, Google Apps, Office 365, uh, you name it. So it's so many passwords to remember. Uh, and what happens if someone steals your credential and tries to log in to those, those uh, portals? So OffPoint provides each customer its own uh, portal where they can type in offpoint.watchguard.com slash the name of the company, where their users can authenticate once. So you authenticate once with your username and then your password. And you can choose the method to authenticate. I'm going to use the most secure and simplest method, which is push. So using push, I receive here again a notification over my phone saying that someone is trying to log in uh, at the particular time. Uh, the browser, the origin is from Seattle, Washington. It gives information where someone is trying to connect from, so you have more context. And then you can approve or deny. If you approve, that's all you have to do in order to get access to the portal where you have all your cloud applications. So now, instead of having to remember the, the passwords of each of those applications, all you have to do is click on the application you want, like Salesforce, for example, and uh, using a specific protocol, authentication protocol, it will automatically sign you in to Salesforce. So without having to re-authenticate, without having to remember all, all of those passwords. 
So this is the second application, logging in with uh, MFA to cloud applications. The third one that I wanted to show is, is the Windows logon. So what happens if someone steals your computer and they know your username and password? So we can use the token also to protect the Windows logon. Let's, let me show you how it works. So if I lock the computer, I have here the option to log in using a QR code or push technology. The push technology, again, is the easiest one. If you have internet connection, if you have data connection over your phone, you can always authenticate using push. So all you have to do is click on a button, you receive a push request showing that you're trying, someone's trying to log into the computer, which computer that is, and then I approve with my phone. Once I approve in my phone, uh, it uh, automatically logs in to the computer. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to show you in here is that you can protect the applications using PIN. So this first token, it was protected using a PIN. Now you can use your finger, your fingerprint, or you can use your face recognition to authenticate uh, as well to those protected tokens if you want to protect. And if you don't have connection, to the network, and you still need to log into your computer. Let's say you're in an airplane and you need to access your computer. No worries. You can still log in using QR code. So QR code, basically, it presents a challenge that only your phone can read. So I'm going to take the phone, click on the button to activate the QR code reader, and then I'm going to put in front of this QR code, and it's going to show me the authentication request like if it was a push, and the response. The response, I just type it in here. It's a response that changes every 30 seconds. So you put in here, and then you log into the computer, okay? So thank you very much for watching this demo. If you have any questions, please reach me out, okay? Thank you.